Hi everyone, I'm Claudia from The Forest Mori and today I want to teach you how to achieve the glaze resist effect with the Cricut Maker. The first thing you'll need for this project is a vessel or a blank canvas to work with. I'll be using a simple cylinder shaped bisquare as my canvas and this will be fired into ceramics after glazing. This glaze resist technique also works on other surfaces such as wood and air dry clay, so don't worry if you don't have bisquare to work with or a kiln for pottery firing. The technique I'm about to show you is applicable to many other craft projects. The next thing you'll need is some removable vinyl. I'm using the Cricut ones here, also some paint of your choice. For this project, I'm using underglazes. I'll also be using these sponges for color application. And lastly, the Cricut Maker. Now let's get started on the project. Have your Cricut Maker set up and ready for use. Once you've done that, connect your Cricut Maker to your computer or any other compatible device you have. Then have the Cricut Design Space application opened. Click Upload, then drag your digital designs onto the upload box. These are the patterns and drawings I want on my vase. I drew these by myself, but Cricut Design Space offers a huge range of templates and craft ideas you can use, so don't worry if you can't create your own digital drawings. Have a browse on the platform and find shapes and patterns you like. Once you have the patterns or design you want ready, select image type. I'm choosing complex here because my designs do have a lot of details. After that, you'll be shown to a select and erase window where you can control where on the image the machine cuts. Since my digital drawing already has a transparent background, I can skip this step. So go ahead and just click continue. You'll then be given the choices of cut image and print then cut image. For this project, I'll be using the option cut image. My drawings are then shown on the canvas like this. Here you can adjust the size of the image until it fits on a cutting surface. Since the premium removable vinyl I'll be using is 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters, I'll go ahead and make the image that size. And to do so, just click the corner of the box where the arrows are and drag inwards. There are measurements on the side of the box here as reference so you can get the sizing right very quickly. I'm going to make the size of my image just a little under 30 centimeters just to make sure everything is within the cutting surface. Once we have the sizing we want, click make it. You'll be shown to a preview page and this shows you where you need to place your cutting material on the cutting mat. So just follow that preview exactly and stick your sheet of vinyl onto the cutting mat. Here I'm using the Light Grip Matte by Cricut. Smooth it out and make sure there are no bumps or unevenness because that would affect the cutting process. After that, go back to Cricut Design Space and let the software know what materials you're cutting through. So under Browse All Materials, search Premium Vinyl and select that as base material. Then you'll be asked to have the blade ready and to load the mat into the Cricut Maker. My blade is already in place as instructed. So just loading the mat here by placing it within the slits on the side and pushing the flashing arrow button. Then push the flashing go button and the Cricut Maker will start cutting! Once the Cricut Maker has finished cutting, gently peel everything off of the cutting mat. Some smaller bits that are harder to remove from the mat can be peeled off using various Cricut tools like these ones here. I find them to be very useful and love using them. Since some of the details are so small and so delicate, the cutouts do have to be handled gently to avoid any ripping. And once everything's been peeled off the mat, we can begin the colouring process! So I'm just sticking the cutouts I want onto the vase like so. The removable vinyl acts as a glaze resist, so areas under the vinyl will be left unglazed and unpainted. Make sure all the vinyl stickers are stuck on smoothly and firmly so as to prevent any colouring from seeping through. And in order to do so, I'm using a mini squeegee from Cricut to smoothen out any edges that are not sticking. A squeegee is definitely essential when you're working on surfaces that are not flat, like this vase here.
Once all the stickers have been placed on the vase, the vase is now ready to be painted! Using a sponge tool, I'm just dabbing a bit of every colour onto the vase and blending the edges to create a gradient effect. There is no rule to which colour you should apply first, so just have fun with it. I usually go through the vase with two coats of colouring. As you can see, the vinyl stickers have been very effective in resisting all the colours that have been applied on those areas. When the colourings have dried, peel the removable vinyl off gently. I like to use these tweezers by Cricut to help me pick up the corners and edges of the sticker to speed up the peeling process. The pointy ends of these tweezers really help with the precision and picking up small pieces of cutouts. As you can see, this premium removable vinyl is so perfect for this project because it peels off so easily and without ripping, and has enough adhesiveness to achieve this glaze resist effect. So once I've finished peeling, I then glaze fire my pieces in a kiln at 1300 degrees so as to make it a ceramic vase. If you're using other materials for this project like air dry clay, wood and acrylic paint, then your project is pretty much completed after peeling off the removable vinyl. But since I still have glaze firing to do, stick around to see the final outcome. I'm already loving the contrast between your natural clay body and underglazes and can't wait to see the final result. And that's it for this craft project. I think the final outcome is amazing and I couldn't have done it without the help of the Cricut Maker. The Cricut Maker helps me achieve this glaze resist effect so efficiently and without error. I hope you were able to create something beautiful with this machine and technique too.